we are going to do a time lapse of the St. Clair River by the Blue Water Bridge, the International Blue Water Bridge, and uh, the sunrise there. And maybe we'll catch a freighter or a boat. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Good morning. Again this day we're heading on down to the waterfront. Um, I started to enjoy doing some time-lapse photography work and we are going to do a time-lapse of the St. Clair River by the Blue Water Bridge, the International Blue Water Bridge and uh, the sunrise there and maybe we'll catch a freighter or a boat. Um, one thing about Port Huron where I live is we are an international crossing with Canada. So we have the Blue Water Bridge, a twin span of bridges that connect the United States and Port Huron, Michigan to Sarnia, Ontario and Canada. These bridges span the St. Clair River at the pinch point, right where the St. Clair River starts, where the tail end of Lake Huron uh, comes down and forms the St. Clair River. The water compresses in right there and uh, actually forms an incredibly clear and beautiful water scene and uh, it's it's just a spectacular view. It's been called a billion dollar view before. time-lapse this morning at the Blue Water Bridge. I've got the uh, camera set to ISO 200 f 5.6 a quarter second exposure at two second intervals. Now I wanted the longer exposure. I wanted the quarter second to provide just a smidgen of motion blur uh, to make this look a little more realistic as we go forward. Hopefully we'll get some ships or a freighter. Um, I do think I see a freighter in the distance uh, coming our way and that should provide for uh, some nice scenery. Now, and I also have a four stop neutral density filter on the camera so that I can get that slower shutter speed that I want um, for some of that motion blur. So a good question is how did I come up with the exposure that I did for this, for this time lapse? And uh, I actually did it based on the Sunny 16 rule. 
Now, a lot of you who weren't um, doing photography work back in the days of film or when we didn't have light meters or auto exposure, um, we had a thing that we would work on called Sunny 16. And in a, I'll do a future video about explaining this in a little more depth and detail, but pretty much what it means is on a bright sunny day in bright sunlight, so you set your aperture to f16, so sunny 16. So that's our, where 16 comes from. But where does our shutter speed go? Well, our shutter speed is the closest number to the ISO, or back in the day, ASA of the film that we're using. So in this case, the lowest native ISO that I can set my Fujifilm camera to is 200, which means I'm gonna use 250th of a second. So in bright sunlight at ISO 200, I'm gonna shoot at F16 at a 250th of a second, and my exposure be right. My highlights should not be blown out. Well, that was embarrassing and disturbing beyond um, what I care to admit. My battery died in the camera. I have replaced the battery. I've got a few with me, and uh, so we're going to, we're, uh, it's happening again, and uh, we do have the sunrise still happening, the color in the clouds. I did take advantage of the pause to put the film simulation onto Velvia to get a little more color and pop out of these clouds as the sun starts to skim across um, this morning. Luckily, here comes a freighter, and if you've never seen this, enjoy the time lapse of this. The Algoma Buffalo out of St. Catharines. There she goes. Thirty-three a.m. now and uh, sunrise was officially at 629 so we have seen what we're gonna see as far as sunrise goes and again like I said we're not pointing directly at the Sun for this it's a little bit to the side but uh, my goal was to get the freighter traffic which we did uh, we had one freighter go by one southbound freighter and uh, some other other activity as well that's gonna wrap us up for this video we've seen a beautiful sunrise today um, some time-lapse freighter traffic. You've learned a little bit about the city of Port Huron, my hometown. As always, I thank you for watching this. If you like what you see, remember to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when uh, new videos come. It is a beautiful morning today. People are out rollerblading, bicycling. The seagulls are out flying. And uh, I am going to get prepared to enjoy the rest of this day. <laughs>